Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so Krishan recently posted a video of her new Bentley truck. She also ended up going live while she was getting her first car wash to speak on a few things. She also clarified that K Suave is just a good friend. Anyway, here's the clip of Krishan's new Bentley truck. Sheesh! So like, I've been keeping this little secret to myself. Cause I can't believe I, I got a, um, what's that say? You know, it's bright outside. That's a bit, you nigga. You just, hold the fuck up. Good. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Like, can I just be honest? Like, this is why this shit was that cool. But I ain't gonna hold you. I don't know what the fuck going on, bro. Um, BD popping it. I'm eight months pregnant, nigga. I had to leave everything. Type shit. Like, all my money. Like, the living I had. All type of shit, bro. I'm homeless. Yeah. Cold. Cold, just homeless, nigga. Eight months to nine months pregnant, nigga. Trying to, like, alright. Had to make new money, nigga. Nigga, now I live in a $2.6 million home, nigga, and I drive a Bentley truck. My baby only two months old. So, it took me two months, mm, three to four months to shake back, bro. And I really thought I wasn't going to shake back, bro. Because I lost everything, bro. But like, like, that faith, that prayer, nigga, moving away from bad energy really works <laughs> Krishan thanks everyone who has her back and is there for her she also addressed all the people who were out to get her and ironically Bonnie Lachey was in her live talking crap in the comments anyway here's a clip from Krishan's live my first yeah the towel for when I guess afterwards you feel me my shit dirty and shit and then she just wrote on my window I'm like what are you doing it like I gotta wipe that shit off that she just wrote on the window. She wrote this. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but I guess I need it. Oh, neutral. So, uh, y'all, I was basically saying on my story, like, I'm glad I kind of, like, shook back for real, because I went through some shit when I was, like, pregnant as fuck, and I was, like, my head was, like, yo, what am I finna do? What, what am I finna do? I cannot, I can't even call my BD. I can't call nobody. I, I can't call no vibe. And then my phone start calling me like niggas start my checks start calling me. And I'm like, right, you panicking for nothing. You already get paid monthly and blah blah on this shit and that shit. So I was already set up cool, but in the moment I didn't have shit. Like I was set up to be fucked over. I was set up to be uh, very dependent. Like, I, I won't be able to make my own moves unless I ask for approval with my own money. So I was kind of fucked over for real. So when I said fuck all that shit and left everything, nigga, I was scared. I'm still am scared. So, if anything can go fucking wrong. And then I'm just like, I got a baby. I got a baby. So, that shit just crazy. How all this shit just playing out for real. This lady might need to straighten out my car so I can get up on there. I don't know how to do this. But, uh, no, I'm cool. Like, right, I'm so happy that I, uh, I thugged it out. Because, uh, I don't know. I'm in my own shit, bro. I got my own car. My nigga got my own crib, bro. Like, I'm scared of shit. What am I supposed to do? She all like, come, 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 come. What? What? Keep going, keep going. What? Car in neutral. All right. 
All right, my car is in neutral. Foot off brake. Hands and off the wheel. Cool. All right, so, uh, oh, this is cool. My first car wash, y'all. I could cry right now, y'all. Time. I got a Bentley truck. All black Bentley. Oh my God, who didn't let them Christians in the club? I love you too, Belair. Look, I got I got your Jesus piece right here, yo. This shit blessing my car, yo. I took it off my neck and put it in my car, yo. Thank you so much. Everybody on the way that's supporting me, that wanna see me win, thank you. But for all the motherfuckers that's trying to set me up, fuck you niggas. Kiss my fucking ashy booty. Because Y'all should be scared of trying to fuck me up. Y'all should be real scared. Fuck me over. I'm just, niggas got their own whip. Niggas got their own crib. And it's crazy. Guys, I'm so blessed. I'm not even finna stay at that crib that I have. I don't even want that crib no more. Motherfucking car Lisa pulled up with the motherfucking cameras. That whole block hot. I mean, it was already hot, but it's hotter. You said turn on my wipers? They was already on. So my car washed already? Why is it still driving? Oh, it's in neutral. I'm thinking I'm still in a little shit. Oh, I was supposed to wait. I was supposed to let that shit dry my car off. I'm still in neutral letting it just fake dry my shit off. I could have stayed up in that dry. See, this is my first time washing my car, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of scared. Nigga, I busted up my rims a little bit. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, shit, it's still in neutral. All right, so we finna park. Fuck. We finna park. I'm finna park. I don't know where I'm finna park at, but I'm finna park and get up this car. Damn rag they gave me. Oh, did y'all fuck with the Cam Newton interview, bruh? Cam Newton is an OG for that one. I fucked with it. I was so comfortable, bruh, and it was like, he knew me as if he was my big brother or something. Like, he ain't talking to no little stupid bitch. He talking to his little sister that just need a little bit of guidance. If you haven't seen the interview, and I'm scared I'm going to hit this bitch, and she looking at me stupid like, bitch, can you, like, move out my motherfucking way? Look, I'm backing up. I'm trying to back up. Look at me backing up. We're running a bitch over. And everybody keep talking about this new nigga. Suave. Bro, he's just real good people, bro. He's a real good friend. I like him. He's cool. But why every time I'm posted up with somebody, y'all always got to, like, make it seem like something else. Oh, y'all want me to move on so bad. It's so cute. Oh, bitch, I moved on. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, so I'm just gonna wipe it. I'm just gonna wipe my car. How about if I gotta wipe it? Why won't I just go? Why won't I just? So I'm not gonna lie. When I first seen K Suave and Krishan together, I didn't think that it was an actual relationship right off the bat. But once I seen them holding hands, that's when I figured it must be more serious. But in reality, there are talking stages, so people will have their talking stages and maybe it doesn't work out after the talking stage. So obviously you don't want people to just automatically assume you're together right off the bat. But to be fair, it was looking like they were together. So if she says they're just friends, then they're just friends. But that doesn't mean I believe it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. 
ain't gonna hold you. I'm finna get this bitch wrapped in like uh baby blue. And get my rooms. I want my I want my wheels big as shit. So I'm ready to put like a hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand investment in this car I got. I'm not, I'm not finna like the outside of my car. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm finna cause vacuum your car. My car ain't that dirty and so I just got this bitch. On the outside it was a little brisky. I mean, Yeah, I know. I'm out somewhere. I do everything for you. But, um, I'm finna go there. I ain't finna play with these motherfuckers. I'm too fucking. Motherfuckers gonna be recording me cleaning my car. I ain't finna, I ain't finna play with them. And then I've been like on some real shit, bro. I've been on some like. I don't know, bro. Like I was, I was trying to change my number. Never got around to. So um, no, nah, it's not. No, nah, it's this baby blue color I saw um uh, at the um. It's. But look, I'm about, to, I'm about to get up off of here. But I just really want everybody to stay consistent, stay in prayer. Um, don't let up. Don't never get comfortable. Don't trust anybody. Um, stay focused. Forgiveness is everything. Because if you have a forgiving heart, God can help you grow through that and learn why you're such a forgiving person. But also teach you why you shouldn't be as vulnerable with the forgiveness. Like A lot of people be so vulnerable while they're forgiving and then you have to be smart while you forgive. You can't just be like, like me, I forgive a motherfucker as if they ain't never killed me before. But like, yeah, just stay prayed up for real, for real. I don't know what anybody going through. But I feel like everybody that's going through something, bro, everybody going through something, bro. Everybody need prayer. Everybody want to feed their family. Everybody want to be saved. Everybody want to know that they're free and not in bondage. Everybody just want to be blessed and happy. So it's like a lot of motherfuckers just be like in the wrong headspace and then like don't even know. Like, you know, life is too motherfucking short to be around acting like beef is really a thing. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I'm telling you, I've been going through um, my ups and downs at the same time. And that shit is starting to pick with me. Like, all right, so how do I em eliminate the downs for real? I got to stop being as vulnerable and then as trusting as, as I am. Like, I thought I wasn't. I thought I was, like, hard this, hard that. I'm not hard enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I need everybody just to be, like, you know. But I'm so happy I was able to ex execute my plan, bro. Like, just imagine yourself with no credit. You gotta go all the way from zero when you made, you had commas and zeros in an account before, and all of that shit go to zero out of nowhere because you too trusting, you too vulnerable with a motherfucker, and they say fuck you. So that's where I fucked up at. You hear me? So. When I shook back, my nigga, you can't tell me shit. You cannot tell me shit. I got a son. You can't tell me shit. You know why? I have a son. And I named him after me. What do that mean? Bitch, I'm daddy. Like, <laughs> straight up. His name is Krishan because I'm daddy. Like, it's literally like, it became 
some brown nigga shit. I'm gonna hate this shit for me. I guess it's the best for me. And yeah, like, it was times where. Just, it was times, bro. Like, it was times where. Shit. I'm so happy, bro. Like, like, well done. Like, I feel like it's a job well done for him. You know, just like, you know, like, you know amen. Thank you, Jesus. I won't be going nobody but myself. I ain't in competition with nobody but myself. But, niggas whipping in a bent, Bentley truck. Got a fit bedroom house with a fat ass backyard. And still got options. You hear me? I can go buy another car. But nah, I ain't even finna buy another car because I'm finna buy another property. Like, I'm finna uh, do this one better. This time, instead of renting to buy it, I'm finna buy it. And then instead of having um, you know, people help me along the way and try to, no, no help. I'm just gonna go straight to God with it. Cause it's like, even if, oh yeah, you put up all the money up front and da da and all, and people know your business too much, man, motherfuckers is jealous of you. They ain't helping you. They trying to shit on you or see you, see where your loophole at. You slipping, they, they get your ass. Fuck no, that's dead. So nigga, I'm just trying to let y'all know, I ain't finna be that one. You hear me? Y'all not finna not make no, no. No example out of me. Like, niggas been testing my gangster too. Like niggas know I go to jail and shit. Niggas know I, yeah, but not no more. I can't no more. So why are you playing with me? Now I'm finna just yell. What are you doing? I'm about to call 911 on your ass. What? You trying to get, yeah. Like motherfuckers even know like, motherfuckers just wanna see me down. I don't know why. And I don't fuck with it at all because I just don't. Like that's not what I'm putting out. I'm helping everybody, nigga. Everybody eating off of me type shit. And then it's like, okay, if I got this generous hand, where's all this bad, bad shit coming from? Where all this hate coming from? Man, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all better hop off my dick ASAP, please. Fuck. Matter of fact, I'm praying y'all bitch asses away. Jesus. No weapon formed against me. Shout out to Jesus' name. Keep all these bad people away from me. Straight up. They should be scared, nigga. Y'all ain't finna have me scared. I'm scared what God finna do to y'all. Fuck that. Y'all should be scared. Y'all should motherfucker be scared. Yeah. So I'm finna go. Get off of this shit. Drive home. Crank my songs and my new song. And um. Yeah, I'm just like. I ain't fucking with nobody. I ain't dealing with nobody. It's the summer. For real? It go all the way back? What the fuck? That's tough. Oh yeah, I gotta get this bitch wrapped differently. Cause it's too dark. I don't really like a dark car. A moon roof? So who finna come watch the stars with me at the beach? That's tough. So I definitely see where Krishan's coming from because I remember watching her on the live when she was pregnant and she was just crying because Blueface would not give her her money. And I can only imagine how she was feeling in that moment to know that you worked so hard building up all this money. And now that you have a baby on the way, you have to start all over. I'm definitely proud of her because regardless of what everyone was saying about her being in the club while she was pregnant, she did what she had to do. She got her money. She got her house. She got her car. She got everything set for her baby. And I think that's how you know how strong you are when you're put in a position to start from scratch and you manage to get everything done in a four month time bracket. 
Even though she was sad, pregnant, going through a breakup, got kicked out of Blueface's house, she still stayed on top of her ish. And I respect that because a lot of people in that type of vulnerable moment will just stay in bed and be depressed, but she didn't let anything get her down. She just kept going. Even after Blueface was publicly trashing her name online and bashing her, she still kept going. Because she knew at the end of the day, she had to make sure everything was good for her child. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching.